Hello everybody and welcome back to Frostpunk. Wow, is this game stressful. It's all coming back to me. We're so short on resources and on people, I feel like we're barely making things work. Um, like, constantly. And there's always new terrible situations popping up. Speaking of which, let's read this. A child's plea. Captain, we found a boy frozen to the bone in the cemetery next to a fresh grave. He must have been there for hours. He wants you to call an emergency meeting. He says that if you agree, his mother will wake up and to attend it. Oh my gosh, he must face his loss. Hope will fall slightly. There's nothing we can do about that. Alright, we're going to go ahead and press play. It is work time. Let's reacquaint ourselves with what's going on in the world map. We have our scouting party heading home, and we have... An automaton heading home. Oh yeah, these automatons are really cool. I'm excited to see them. Okay, sounds good. Now, we have researched steelworks. Let's remind ourselves um, what's going on. I think food production is probably okay. That's a big, that's kind of a, a big if. Um, and we need to start looking towards more sustainable wood production, uh, coal production, and steel production. Um, now we have 101 steel piled up, so I think maybe coal should be our next priority. Let's check out our resources. We can upgrade sawmills. Allows us to introduce workplace improvements that will raise the efficiency of all sawmills and steam sawmills by 25%. We can get a wall drill. Allows us to build wall drills. Drills into the walls of our crater, uncovering trees that once formed a forest before ice engulfed them. Provides up to 160 wood per workday. And these cost a steam core, whereas a sawmill does not cost a steam core. Of course, we can mine coal. Extracts 240 coal per standard workday from underground deposits. And we have coal thumpers that I think do the same thing but don't cost the steam core. Okay, so now I, I kind of remember why these resources are valuable. We can, we have limited amounts of them. Um, okay, I think we need to build um, a coal thumper or actually I think I'd rather have a coal mine. I think this will be more efficient. We can get um, sawmill, we have plenty of wood on the map still to sawmill. So I think we'll do that. Um, so I think the next thing we want to research is coal mining. And for the time being, we should... Do we have workers assigned to collecting all this coal? Let's make sure we do. We need all the coal we can get. Um, but I think maybe a steel, a steel mill will be a good thing to build. Steelworks. Extracts iron ore from deep deposits and processes it to deliver up to 40 steel per standard workday. Okay, so if I build one of these, it's only going to cost 25 wood. And there's only two possible locations for steelworks. So let's go ahead and build one right here. Okay. Sounds good. That's one more resource that we can... That's one more resource we can gather without worried about running, running out. Okay. Wood is in still pretty short supply. I think we're gonna want more than just one sawmill. Once we're done gathering all this coal, I think we'll build a sawmill right here to gather the rest of this wood as well. Wow, I think our expedition bypassed the um, automaton. <laughs> They're faster than the automaton.
Alright. Now it looks like we might actually need to assign one more cook. It looks like our cooks are not able to keep up with the amount of raw food we're collecting now. Um, and we should probably take five more people and fully staff all of our hunting lodges. Ah, of course our hunting lodges need workers and all we have available to work are engineers. Scouts number one have returned safely to the city. So they brought with them 19 engineers, 26 workers, 219 wood, one steam core, 101 food rations. Wow, that's great. Alright, so we need to go send it back out. Now, we could continue on over here. Or we could enter the gloomy cave. I say we start exploring in the other direction. Okay, let's go ahead and send these scouts. 15 hours to arrive. Um, and then we really should get another unit of scouts. Um, great, we have another unit of scouts and we're gonna send them to the weather station. Perfect. That's fewer people we need to house. Now, speaking of housing, um, we need, how many children do we have? We have 21 children, and each child shelter, what does the child shelter even look like again? Is this the child shelter? 15. Okay, so we have plenty of availability for this. Okay, just making sure. So we just need to build one, two, three. Um, and I guess we need to start building another round. We're also going to need roads to extend all the way around the city. We're going to need probably some ways to get... Oh my gosh, building the roads is kind of annoying. Some ways to get up. We want options for people to navigate the city. Yeah, okay, I think this will be good. There we go. Were we gonna build a sawmill here? Looks like we have all the infrastructure we need for a sawmill. Look at this thing. Look at this thing. That's pretty impressive. Um, we're going to need to build um, a medical post as well. It's going to be a little cold out here. I'm wondering if we need to replace one of these houses with a medical tent and move the houses farther away. I think it's important to have our medical post warm, but you know, for the time being, we will just build it right here. It's too cold. It's too cold. I think we need to research generator power and generator range upgrade. Range settings set to range level 2. Power is set to steam level 2. So there's nothing we can do about this. Oh, but look, it's actually going to warm up in a day. Our automaton is dangerous. Using automatons, our first automaton is operational. This will help our economy greatly. Auto automatons can replace entire manual labor labor crews. They work around the clock with short breaks to refuel at the generator. We can research upgrades to raise their efficiency and capability. Alright, so let's see. Where do we want this thing to be working? Um, let's assign all the engineers we have to research. We can assign the automaton, of course, to work at our new coal mine. I think that sounds like a good place for an automaton to work. We can replace an entire crew. Okay, so the automaton is going to be getting coal for us. No, that's a steelworks. My bad. That's fine. It can be getting steel for us. I think that's a good use for it. Um, we have only 18 hours of coal left. That's a little bit concerning. That's real concerning.
Now we have um, 14 engineers that we can still hire. I think we're going to want to stock this medical post because it's about to get a little warmer and I think we should be doing okay once it gets a little warmer. We need to get um, coal mining up uh, researched quickly. We're going to run out of coal very soon. We need to max out collection on these um, coal deposits here. Apparently this is not connected by road yet, so we need to continue building this road. Base efficiency is 60% because of the um, automaton doing it, not humans doing it. So it's going to be slightly less efficient, but I think it's still good. It's going to get us infinite access to steel, which is exactly what we need. All right, look at that. Beautiful. It's 30 degrees Celsius again. All of our places are warming up just a little bit. It is comfortable in the inner ring. It is comfortable in the second ring. And it is chilly in the third ring. All right, we'll take it. I wonder if we can actually turn it down to steam level one. Instead of comfortable having it be livable in these rings. Because it's still going to be chilly in the outer ring anyways. There we go. Now we have three cooks. We can assign um, four cooks. Seems like we're still not getting through the backlog of food that we need to be. I'm just looking forward to researching coal mines because we'll build a coal mine as soon as we get access to it. Um, for the time being, we should probably build another sawmill. I think that'll be a good idea. We can build one right here. It'll destroy some resources perhaps, but it just needs to be adjacent to a street and then we're good to go. So I'm going to go ahead and build our street out to here and there we go. Perfect. Coal pile has been depleted right as coal mining has been researched. All right, so we're going to need to build a coal mine as a priority number one. So let's see where are our available coal mines. We can build one over here right next to the beacon and the graveyard that we've already built. I think this is a good idea. We've already got infrastructure and roads leading out here, so it'll be a little bit quicker to build. Perfect. This sawmill for some reason doesn't have any roads leading out to it. What's up with that? Oh, right. That's the one we just built. I'm, I'm being dumb. Um, and this gathering post has uh, nothing left to do, so we could go ahead and dismantle it. Great. Fantastic. So we've got a sawmill being built. We should have another sawmill somewhere else. I don't remember where it is exactly. Is this the sawmill? Yeah, it's only got 722 wood left to gather before it runs out. Um, a word of advice, steam cores. We have just used our first steam core. Steam cores are a necessary component in advanced technology. We can't manufacture steam cores in the city, so let's hope our scouts find them during their expeditions. Yeah, let's hope. Uh, technology, we need to be researching new technology. I'd say we upgrade the efficiency of our sawmills and then we need to look more into more heat upgrades because it is going to just continue getting colder and we don't want to be caught um, on the wrong end of that. Um, we need to build a road here. Yep. There we go. Perfect. That way we can dismantle streets. Nope, I don't want to dismantle buildings. I want to dismantle streets. We can dismantle these streets. Oh my gosh, this is annoying to do. There we go. We don't want any unnecessary streets.
perfect. Alright, I think, um... I think having five cooks is, uh, four cooks is even too much. We've got plenty of food. We might need another resource storage depot. It looks like we're kind of full up on our, um, resources. Um, and we we're going to want these resource depots to be somewhere out of the way. So for example, we have a coal mine right here. So maybe we build a resource depot right here. Oh, wouldn't that be nice if that fit in perfectly? Let's build it like right here. And we can have it store, say, coal, for example. Okay, we researched sawmill upgrades. Perfect. Uh, I don't think we need faster gathering. I don't think we need charcoal kilns. I'd rather just mine the coal directly. Um, we researched more scouts already. So we're good on the resources tab. We're good on the exploration tab. Food. Medical post upgrade. Thanks to improved medical tools and methods, people employed a medical post will heal the sick 10% faster. And we can get a hothouse, which allows us... A few hardy crops can be grown here, supplying up to 30 raw food per day. Whereas hunter's huts provide up to 20 raw food per hunt. Okay, so these are a little more efficient, but they cost a steam core. I don't know if that's worth it when we could just build a bunch of hunter's lodges. Um, I say we research the medical post upgrade. And then we need to start um, researching the next tier. Um, yeah. We're going to need another medical post as well. Look at this. Our people are still getting sick. We're going to need to dismantle some of these streets temporarily. Just to build um, a medical post. Right here. And then we can connect this back up with streets. Like so. Perfect. We have nobody working at the sawmill. Not for too long. There we go. We have people working at the sawmill. So, we have an inoperative steelworks. Okay, no, it should be good. Fine. We have the automaton working at the steelworks day in and day out. Um, I think I'm going to unassign the automaton and I'm going to just assign regular workers to be working here. I'd rather have the automaton working at the priority place, which is the coal mine. The reason being, we want coal to be coming, a, a passive income of coal to be coming in like 24 seven. Um, so this resource storage is gonna be coal. So the idea is that the automaton can just bring the coal back and forth from here, which is gonna be really efficient. Um, similarly, we could probably have the cookhouse and the food all to be around this district. And once we get more permanent installations, like we could have a steel resource depot, for example, right here. I think it'll be worth building all of these resource depots. Okay, perfect. We'll build a resource depot for steel over there. And, um, what's it going to take to get a, like a wall drill for wood? Not sure. We're not maxed out on hunters at this building. We'll make sure we are. Oh boy, this game is stressful. Want to make sure we have our medical posts fully stocked. If these medical posts are chilly. We're going to probably turn on the heaters. I don't know if we can afford the coal. Is our coal going up or down? We don't ha really have enough coal to afford a heater. Because our coal is just about hovering still. Um, our scouts are waiting. Hopefully they haven't been waiting too long. Um, this cave is or was inhabited. There are a number of footprints leading to its entrance. We should check if there's still someone alive up there. All right, we can hear the terrified shrieks coming from a, up, a cave uphill. When we come closer, several polar bears turn towards us, blocking the entrance. 
There are people trapped inside, and those beasts are just picking them off one by one, feasting on them. Alright, we could let the bears kill the survivors, or we could risk attacking the bears. People in the cave will live, scouts will escort them to the city if they survive. Okay, we're going to risk attacking the bears. we got to save our people. We had to help the survivors when our scouts attacked the bears, the people in the cave, four children, 18 engineers, and 11 workers, joined them and together drove the beasts away. Unfortunately, the scouts died from the injuries. The people have we saved set out towards our city, guided by a map made by the scouts. All right. Tragic. Let's go back to our city. Let's go to our beacon. And let's make... Let's wait till we have 40 wood so we can make yet another beacon. Another scouting party. Um, this resource needs to be, let's see, it's right next to the steel works, so we're going to make this steel. Perfect. So we've got a coal resource depot, we've got a steel resource depot. I think it'd be worth building a food resource depot somewhere around here. It's food rations that we're full up on. We researched medical post upgrade. Great. Um, let's get a wall drill for wood going. Okay, fantastic. Hopefully our medical post will be better equipped. We can have this be a little food district out here. I'm considering moving the cookhouse out here as well. I don't know, have we researched um, steam hubs? No, Let's once we research steam hubs, we'll make a little food district out there. Okay, we've got plenty of um, wood now, so we should be able to go to our beacon, make a new scouting party, and send them out to the crash site. Several wrecked vehicles, no signs of life. They are probably our machines. Let's hope so. We have a number of supplies in them after the crash. All right, fantastic. Now, um, in seven hours, we have arriving survivors. So we need homes for, what's that? 17 plus 11, so that's uh, 28. 28 new people, so that's three new houses that we need to build. Tents. One, two, three, and we need to build streets. There we go. Look at all our people getting to work. We actually have plenty of uh, unemployed people, so it's probably worth just maxing out all of our possible um, jobs that we can be. For example, we should just build two steel mills. Might as well. We don't want to be short on steel. Seems like we're doing okay on wood, finally, with the two sawmills. Um, I think we should build another coal mine eventually. Water Wall drill research. All right, fantastic. Let's find um, a place to build a wall drill. But for as, as far as technology goes, we need to research steam hubs. Um, so let's go ahead and build a wall drill for wood. So our wood district can be around here. Are there any other places? No, just these two. Okay. Go ahead and build the wall drill right here. We'll go ahead and build some streets. And our other wall drill, just to remind me, I think was like somewhere over here. So we're gonna wanna go ahead and build our resource depot, which we need 40 wood and 20 steel for. It's wood that we're short on. At least we're feeding everyone. I think we're keeping up with coal, just barely. 
wood and steel seem to be doing fine. We're about to be doing a lot better on wood and steel. We have a sawmill out in the middle of nowhere. I think. Like, we have our sawmill here. That seems to be, like, in the right place. Then we had a sawmill out somewhere else. Yeah, like this sawmill. We can probably decommission this sawmill and just put all of our sawmills in this area. Scouts have reached the weather station. Alright, let's see what's going on. There's nobody in the weather station, but everything still seems to be operational. We could try to find out what the scientists from Winter Home were working on. Alright, let's find out. We found the scientists' notes. They predict that the great cold is going to get much worse. How much worse can it already be? Um, what's more troubling is that the observations ended abruptly months ago. There's also not a, a can of spam, not even a crumb of bread left in the pantry. It's obvious they've moved out for good. We can see the city winter home from the roof of the weather station. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and take this one steam core and 88 coal. And we're going to press on. If we can see the city of winter home, then we've got to go. Yeah. Scouts to winter home. Let's do it. Um, we have a new steelworks. We'll go ahead and assign 10 workers there. Oh, we only have engineers available. That's very curious. That's very curious. Well then, we'll go ahead and assign engineers to be working these for now. We can always change that if need be. Abandoned station. The recent report from the weather station has got people talking. They're frightened that such an important facility was apparently abandoned. Some are starting to wonder whether evacuation from London was even a good idea. A few are lamenting openly. I knew I shouldn't have come. At least London had real houses, not tents and wooden shacks. We'll have answers soon enough. Leaving London was a great idea. I bet London doesn't have one of these giant things. These giant generators. What's this? Could not resume production. Oh, the cookhouse. It, it looked like it was hovering over our generator and I was getting very concerned. Survivors reached the city. Sir, a group of survivors has reached our city. They are tired. They'll need a place to rest, a bite to eat, perhaps some medical attention, but they are ready to lend a hand however they can. Great. I'm so happy you're here. Um, we have engineers working these jobs that we can have workers doing. So I'd rather max out the workers and keep our engineers available for research and medical posts and stuff like that. We've got two steel works. We've got a wall drill. Fantastic. And we have houses for everyone. We have homes for everybody. Things cannot be going better. Food might become a problem again. Might be worth researching. Um, what was that? Hot houses or something? But I don't see any reason actually why we can't just spam a bunch more of these hunter's huts. I guess they are worker intensive. They only produce 20 raw food and they bring in 15. They, they have 15 workers assigned to them. Maybe the hot houses will be much more efficient. We'll try them out. I just don't know if I want to spend our precious steam cores on them when we could be spending our steam cores on things like wall drills. How are we starving? We have plenty of food rations available. There's no reason why anybody should be starving. Right. So, since this is going to be our kind of like wood district, I think I'm going to build a new resource depot for wood here. So we don't get full up on wood. We have a sawmill. And um, we could probably build a kind of like 
yeah, zone here. We've researched steam hubs. So let's look. Have we researched everything in this tier that we want to? It might be worth researching faster gathering just to get resource depot upgrades, but we can do that later. Bunkhouse, what's this? Allows us to build bunkhouses, a dwelling for 10 people that is adequately protected from the weather. Does this improve the insulation? Let's do that. That sounds totally worth it. Um, we have scouts waiting at a crash site. That's when our expedition was split up and our vehicles crashed during a snowstorm. Some of our precious supplies should be there. We got raw food and wood. We'll go ahead and explore it. We'll take the resources. Um, but we don't need to go back because we're not really desperate for wood. That's it, huh? There's no further place to explore from out here, huh? All right, so I guess we got... If we're already heading this way, then we should just go to the city. It's 11 hours or it's two days. Let's go directly to the coal mine. All right, let's just do it. So now that we've got steam hubs researched, we need to be careful because we need better coal production in order to kind of afford one of these steam hubs. But I'd like to make a little food district out here and shut down this sawmill once we can get a second wall drill up and going. Yeah, wall drill is going to cost us another steam core, which we don't have. So we'll keep this sawmill up and going. Heat. Health. People. Tech. Is it tech? Tech. Alright. We can get a... Steam hub out here. And what we can do is we can move our cookhouse close to here. Scouts have reached winter home. Oh, that's really cool. We climbed up to the edge of the city. We stood there speechless, staring at the scene of devastation. What? This great city that was doing all these like research expeditions is just devastated? It's a city of the dead. Most of the buildings are destroyed and the generator has exploded. This is actually tragic. The streets of the ruined city are littered with scores of dead bodies. The City Chronicle describes the shortage of food and the citizens' increasing despair, the following squabbles, riots, and descent into anarchy. Let's pray that doesn't happen to our city. Fights dwindling, uh, fights over, over dwindling resources and the eventual starvation, the last century, God forgive us, we're eating our dead. There's no hope. All right, two, two steam cores in that city. And um, we really need the steam cores. So let's send our scouts back and let's make use of those steam cores in our own city. We are alone. The news has shocked everyone in the city. We were supposed to be many settlements and construction crews here. People living normal lives in homes heated by generators, but we're alone. The promise of a new life. We have failed. Uh-oh. Looks like we're going to fall, have the same fate as winter home. Don't panic, we aren't dead yet. We have to learn from their mistakes. Terrible, all these poor people. We can't end up like them. We should never have left Britain. How are we supposed to survive if they didn't? Our hope is so low. They're all dead? How will we survive here without any help? We have to go back to London. There's no hope for us here in this frozen desert. People start to gather as the news of the fate of winter homes spreads throughout the city. Some of them want to drop everything and flee to London. Panic is starting to set in. I must give them purpose. Uh oh. Choose our path. People are shaken, racked by fear and doubt. They've lost hope in our chances of survival. Desperation quickly pushes them to commit reckless acts. You will have to unite them behind a vision of the future. Decide what you will give uh decide what will give them purpose to restore hope, or else our city will descend into the chaos that consumed winter home. Order and discipline? That sounds very like fascist. Faith and spiritual strength? This seems a little more harmless. Let's go for spiritualism. House of prayer. New building. House of prayer. New ability. Sermon. Um, people living nearby will gather to pray, which will raise their hope. You have to build two houses of prayer. We can build two houses of prayer. Easy. 
Let's build two houses of prayer. We can build one, um, one over here. And we can build one, like, out here or something. Okay. Perfect. Faith. House of prayer. How can we get the maximum number of homes with this? I think building it here on this corner will get us the maximum number of homes. Alright, perfect. Do we want another house of prayer for the rest of the homes that aren't aren't currently being having their needs met? We could have another like house of prayer right here. There we go, we built our two house of prayers that we're required to. It's really difficult to keep your city looking neat with all this like radial road design. But, we're doing it. Alright, here we go. Faith, everybody. Have faith in, in your gods and institutions, and then you'll have faith in, in your prospect at survival. We have a resource depot here, and this is, of course, our wood district, so we're going to go ahead and set this as a wood depot. The unconvinced want to leave. Sir, you've convinced the majority, but hope is low. A group of our people still scared about uh, that they want to flee the city for London in 15 days. They come to try and change your mind. You say that faith will save us. Nonsense. Well, we are going to pray for food. Um, what? Are we going to pray for food when we start to starve? Shouts one of them. We don't try to reach London. We'll end up like Winterhome. Calm down. We're not going to die. Oh my gosh. These people are going to cause trouble. I can already tell. People are going to be big trouble. Your people are divided. Some of them are so scared that they plan to leave the city for London in 15 days. They'll try to convince others to join them, preying on their discontent. Fear may lead people to desperate acts. Maintain peace and give people hope and manage their discontent to guide the city safely through the looming social crisis. Okay, wow. With that, I think we're going to end the episode here. Sounds like we've got trouble on our hands. Next episode, we will have to try to deal with these people who are causing problems, telling everybody that we need to go back to London. No, there's nothing back for us in London. We have to make it work here. We'll all die of cold on our way back to London. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.